All right, we're going to do uh, using the length command. That will be our uh, analytic for the day. And we're going to use the use case of taking a web user agent and trying to find long and short user agents. That might be an indication of some randomness or uh, a weird user agent. Maybe you want to look into it. Anyway, so let's, we're going to, it's a little more complicated, this query, just because the data source I have isn't perfect. Um, so if I, I'm going to use Corelite logs. I've got a Corelite HTTP. I'll go through these logs. But the very first thing I want to show is when I go table user agent, actually, I'm just going to go grab first head 10. Everything looks fine when I do this. I come back, and it says, hey, you've got a user agent. There's one single user agent there. It parses it as one single user agent. But for some reason, when I do table user agent it decides to stack them like a multi-value not 100 percent sure why it's doing that the uh little uh, ta that's using this parsing these things isn't doing it quite right so that's no problem i've got a, i've got a way of fixing that and so if we come to the code i wrote i do this eval user agent this is a multi-value field you can see it multi-value and i'm going to use the command mvd dupe and so i'm just going to say hey user agent is now become a multi-value dedupe user agent. So all it's going to do is going to say, yeah, these two are the exact same thing. So I'm just going to give you it once. And so if I do this, there won't be a user agent filled, uh, the user agent length. But we can see that, unlike before, we now only get one of them. So that's cool. Uh, I put this stats count by user agent in there. Biggest reason is, notice, this is a response. This is all the exact same thing. Why do I care if I don't need to do it for every one of them? So I'm going to use stats kind of as a dedupe command. I've gone over this before and other things. Dedupe is not highly efficient. Stats is much faster. It's the best practice. Um, it will do what you think dedupe does, but faster. And so I'm just going to show an example of it. I can stats count by user agent. Thereby, I will only be assessing the length of one of these, not every one of them. They're all going to have the exact same length. And so here's my command that does user length. I'm going to make a field called user agent underscore length, and it's going to be equal to len user agent. That gets the length, and then I'm just going to display it for you guys, and we're, we're good to go. Let's just see this in practice. So I can immediately see my really long user agent strings. These are 182. Um, and some, sometimes I don't have them going on my network, but you'll sometimes just see nothing but random or hex code or something like that. That might be an indication that you got something you might want to look into. Uh, on the other hand, short, uh, short, let's go back, short user agents. That's also an example. Often you'll find something just simple as like a curl command or PowerShell or something like that. That's something you might want to look into. Anyway, so just play around with it. You can use length for far more than just user agent, but that's just an easy, simple example. If you have web logs, go grab the user agent, pull it. Domains, do the same thing. Take a uh, take your domain names and run them through an LEN command. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. I hope this helps you move from being a uh, lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja. Um, if you like the video, please uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Every bit helps. Um, hope to see you back later uh, and have a great day.